Recorded live. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to another Wednesday night of uh, the open calls uh, for University of Eucadia. Uh, please visit, visit university.eucadia.info and uh, log in to uh, find the latest going on and uh, also is uh, how things are progressing. Uh, I'm Brian T. Collins, and hopefully we'll be uh, on shortly. We'll be uh, talking to Frank tonight. And, uh, yeah, uh, just want to do a, a basic sound check, make sure you guys out there can hear us. Just give me a, a, a show on the, uh, on the talk to you window. Good evening, Jen. Great, wonderful. Um, the time uh, in uh, in Roman time is currently 8.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be coactive. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we expect Frank on uh, probably in about five minutes or so. So just uh, I'm just going to mute for the meantime. Uh, I wish I could play some music for you guys, but uh, I'm trying to figure that one out. Okay, thanks. Be on shortly. Hello, Frank. Uh, you there? Hey. Hello, Frank. Hi. How are you going? Good. Good. Um, we're uh, we're ready to start uh, soon. Uh, it's eight fifty-five. Uh, we can wait till right on the hour. At that, that uh, or go now. Yeah. Look, we'll, we'll wait just for a few minutes, and I'm glad we're on early, just so that yeah. we can start off. Uh, clean and um, tonight I think we'll be fine on the one hour for the chat and then um, one and a bit hours for questions okay. and uh, tonight I'm 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 not going to spend too much time referring people to websites I'm actually going to really focus on work in progress um, some of the issues that people have got at the moment outstanding you know key questions people keep asking and I really, really want to focus tonight on some of the key concepts, um, particularly misinformation, misdirection is their greatest weapon, because I think this is important for, for folks when they're reading, that when you're facing a court case or any of these things, we keep coming back to these um, mind maps that they give us, like you are mortal versus you are immortal, or you only have one life versus... Uh, you may choose to be reincarnated. These are—I don't want to get too far into it—but the, some of these are really, really key ideas that they trick us into believing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, as as you know, I mean, it, it, if you keep people divided within themselves, <clears throat> I mean, that's it, right? So uh, yeah, it, it's amazing how the subtleties of these techniques work, and uh, we're looking forward to hearing that tonight. 
Uh, is there anything you want me to raise um, from what you've seen in the last week? Well, uh, I do. Uh, I'm getting a, a number of emails regarding uh, proactiveness in terms of local communities and, and uh, businesses that are already running, how to uh, set up trusts for that, uh, you, you know, the, for, moving forward on exchange, those kind of things. That, that, that's a lot of questions I've had this week. All right. Well, I'll talk about that tonight and the fact that people already have a bank account and, and, and how that's going to tap in. So we'll talk a bit about that. I think that's important. So I'll add that into, um, if you like, the fourth topic. We'll just talk dedicated on community and, and what's already in place for communities and, and what, what people can be doing right now. That's, uh, that's great. Uh, well, we're currently at uh, two minutes two. Uh, we could use that as an index for tonight. So uh, since the clock is running already, let's uh, we'll probably just go into it. All right. Well, um, I think give us a, give us one more minute for for those that are coming in now, and then we'll uh, start. Um, I know that, um, for example, people have been asking, and that's why I'll start with work in progress. People are asking on certain documents like, where's the um, Where's the instruction and so on? The deed of restitution, uh, yeah, where's that instruction? So I want to go through those things as well. Um, That's a great idea, yeah. All right. Amazing how quickly these weeks go by, don't they? Um, actually, days are going by like hours, hours like minutes. Uh, quite, quite an interesting phenomenon, this dream. But uh, nonetheless, it is, I, I fully embrace that it is a dream with the rules called matter. So it's really our perceptions that, uh, that really make it. Well, I'm ready when you are, Brian. Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's roll. Thank you and welcome tonight. Uh, I'm Brian T. Collins and welcome to the open calls on talk to you for Eucadia University. And we're here tonight with our host, Frank O'Collins. Uh, Frank, uh, interesting things you were mentioning there in the index about uh, what we're going to be talking about. And again, it's, uh, it's about being proactive and uh, uh, taking forward an action and responsibility for your own lives. And definitely uh, Eucadia is that hope that we see. Um, I, I fully embrace the uh, the concepts and the models and bringing them forth, being able to uh, step forward with local communities. So uh, tonight, uh, why don't you uh, take it away? Yeah, thanks, Brian. Welcome, everyone, who is on tonight. I've opened up the uh, window so I can see questions. And, and when we get to the Q&A at the end, uh, please, if you can t hold your questions till then, and then load them in, I can keep track of them when we finish the first hour. Or you can do star eight and let Brian know that you want to speak on the phone. So welcome everyone who are, who's on the call tonight. And welcome to those that will be listening later uh, on the recording. The recording of this show can be found on the University of Eucadia website, as well as the TalkShoe site. Tonight, I'm going to talk about four major topics, and I think it's important because there are so many things happening, and because a number of your questions are relating to where are things, are they ready? For example, where's the instruction on the deed of restitution? So first, I'm going to start with work in progress and give you all an update on where we're at and what's happening. The second topic... I'd like to cover with you all tonight is to go through some of the issues that have been raised over the last week, and these are ongoing issues as well, but to cover some of the issues, concerns, outstanding questions that a number of you have so that we can uh, cover some of those and hopefully answer those questions. The third topic tonight, and something I really want to dedicate um, most of the introduction on, is key concepts that can have an immediate effect and help for you. So again, key concepts that can have an immediate help and effect 
for you. And the reason I want to cover those is that while we get into specific remedy, while we talk about a great number of things, it's easy to forget that just as you cater is an idea and you cater is a model, they are also using ideas and models and misdirection and misinformation against us. So I'd like to cover that tonight because one of the issues that gets constantly raised is this. When will it work? That's a presumption, of course, but it's raised as an issue on and on and on. And I want to show to you that if you measure it in terms of knowledge and if you measure it in terms of competence, Eucadia is already an overwhelming success. One Heaven knowledge is already an overwhelming success. It really is a matter of where you set the benchmark. So I want to talk about some of those key concepts so there's something immediate, important, relevant and effective as you continue to learn and as you continue to establish your competence. And the fourth I want to cover tonight is community. And specifically about community is to talk in practical terms about what is already in place. I'll be talking about community as part of a work in progress as well, but what's already in place and the idea of the community and the thoughts that are going to community and why we are planning the way we're planning in terms of the rollout at a grassroots. So I'm going to go through those. I'm sorry that dogs are barking because someone's knocked on the door and they can go away. But um, we're going to start with work in progress. We're going to start with issues. Brian, can you hold for literally two minutes and I will come back, all right? Absolutely. Okay, so I'll let you continue and I'll be back in two minutes. Okay. So... uh, yeah, uh, I was hoping. There we go. Uh, yeah, it, it's amazing. You see, um, an issue of fencing is something that a lot of people uh, certainly fall into, and all of us, all of us fall into that mindset because it's an easily uh, contractible way of consciousness. So again, is uh, get, stepping forward and learning the right steps of uh, taking competent uh, control of your own affairs is first and foremost. Staying in honor also is uh, is part of that process. So uh, again, is, uh, we, we thank everybody for being on the call and, back. and moving forward with this process. Thanks, Frank. I'm sorry for that, but that just shows you that uh, all things continue and that was something. <laughs> so, okay. Work in progress, issues, Key concepts can have immediate help, community. Let's start with work in progress. So in work in progress, I want to talk about handover. I want to talk about updates to the EDP process, updates to the land home process, writs and communities. So let's start with handover work in progress. One of the issues that a number of you have legitimately raised, and it it comes to the promise I've made, that there are nine months left before I need to resign and will be resigning from any influence over Eucadia. I'm not abandoning, I'm merely resigning. That is, I'm becoming a member, well, I'm becoming as if I was the newest member. I won't be eligible to be elected to a position, but I will always be there to help. It is up to each and every one of us to make this work. So on handover, the question is, well, if that's fine, what have you started to physically hand over, Frank, given there's only nine months? And the answer to that is that in the structure of the law, we have the covenant. We then have the maxims, being the canons. We have the charters, being the policies. And then we have the codes being the procedures. Now, I know that some would say, well, why do we need all that? And and the answer is that societies and the world is a complex organism. One can't expect to live in a society without having some sense of education system. 